Okay, now we're standing in front of Hudson MC Records at 3818 Page. Hudson has been in the community for over 60, a little bit over 60 years. They service East St. Louis and the St. Louis and the county of surrounding areas. And on any given day, you can come and buy music from uh, Muddy Waters, Etta Jane, Fontella Bass, Dramatics, Mount Class. We were a five-part harmony group uh, on mostly all of our recordings, but uh, when we went out to actually tour, most of our touring was done with four members. The Montclair's unique and soulful sound caught the attention of a St. Louis radio personality at KXOK. His name, Nick Charles. Nick Charles worked with other local talents such as Johnny Rabbit and many credit Nick for bringing the Beatles in town. He had a label and it was called the Arch Label and uh, my brother Keith brought us the group over and they were like distributed by Stax, subsidiary of Stax or whatever, but they had a local record. Our first local record was called Hey You, got us on the St. Louis Hop and that was started our recording career at that point. Debuting in 1958, the St. Louis Hop was a popular dance TV show that featured some of music's biggest acts. After we spent about a year with the Arch label and didn't work out on that, um, started out with Oliver's Vanessa label and we had the record, uh, All I Really Care About Is You, and it did so well that was picked up by Jewel Paula Records on the national level, and that's who we signed with for five years. As the popular saying goes, what comes up must come down. During the late 70s into the early 80s, the group could not hold a deal, and frustration set in. After maybe our last record that we did, um, it was called uh, Baby You Know I'm Gonna Miss You. That was 1976. We fiddled around and tried to uh, get with uh, other companies. We had even tried to sign with uh, The Emotions' father. He had a production company and we decided we didn't want to go that route. And probably towards the late 70s, we were all probably getting a lot frustrated. And our lead singer, Phil Perry, decided to take go to LA on his own and take the material. And uh, after that, he signed his own record deal and took Kevin out of the group and that became Perry and Sandlin and that was the end of the Montclair's 1980s. 